Hey there, hi there, hello everyone. Narjan here, in this video I'm going to be showing you the ins and outs of fighting Agoras, which includes the best armor weapon to use, its attacks, what parts are a break well, and some other info. So without further ado, let's begin. Agoras is a Terra behemoth, so the best weapon element against it would be shock, and for armor, Terra would be strongest. When it comes to weapons, if I had to pick one, it would be the Chain Blades, because the Reaper's Dance special allows you to avoid a lot of attacks, and the Lightweight Chain mod lets you dash around without consuming that much stamina. The first one is where it slams its bludgeon arm. The second one is a drill attack. The third one is where it throws a poison orb into the air. The easiest way to avoid it is by standing still and then once Agoras has thrown it into the air, move in any direction. The fourth one is where it slams its trunk, which spawns a pool of poison. The fifth one is where it digs its vine arm into the ground and if you don't dodge in time, the tips will entangle you and suck some of your HP away. The last one is a whip attack with its flying arm. The first one is as it enters its aether state. The roots that shoot out will do damage if they hit you. The second one are the yellow orbs it sends out. Sometimes if they hit you, they stunlock you, so watch out for that. The third one is a slam attack with its bludgeon arm. The fourth one is a line of rocks that rise out of the ground and then fall down, and this happens five times. The last one is as it exits its aether charge state. Its roots or what remain of them will spin clockwise as they retract. The first one is as it enters its enraged state. It will flail its arms around. The second one is where it pulls out a boulder from the ground and then slams the ground with it. The third one is a swipe attack with its vine arm. The last one is a swipe attack with its bludgeon arm. This guy has four. You can get it from its trunk, bludgeon arm, vine arm, and mushrooms, and these are the parts you can get from them. When Agoras first awakens, stay on the platform or else you'll get hit by its roots, and it will do a lot of damage, possibly even one-shotting you. Agoras will spawn these mushrooms on the ground. Destroy them before they burst and you'll open a jump vent that allows you to mount Agoras and inflict heavy damage up close. If you don't, the mushrooms will disintegrate into a pool of poison. If you've mounted Agoras, the best time to jump to avoid its attack that will make you dismount is to wait until you see the animation where its arms pull in. During its Aether Charge state, Agoras will be healing itself and do not go near the green aura around it. It will do a lot of damage. You can end its Aether Charge state early though by doing enough damage to all four of its roots. If you don't want to risk taking any damage during its Aether Charge state, you can wait it out by standing on the platform.
You can tell which mushrooms on Agris's back you've broken by its appearance. After it exits its enrage state, it will not do anything for a few seconds, so take that time to put damage in. That's pretty much it. The next guy will be on Sportstruck Embermain, so if you don't want to miss it, give that subscribe button a little love tap and don't forget to turn notifications on. I also stream a variety of games on Twitch every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It'd be awesome if you stopped by and said hi. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I hope you guys have an amazing morning, afternoon, or night. Be seeing you in the next video and happy slaying.